Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. As we get into chapter four of Nehemiah, we find that this construction project actually becomes a battle. The Sambalat and Tobiah and other people in the surrounding areas, they become very upset that the wall is being constructed, that the breaches are closing in, and that the work is moving moving along. And we read in verse 7 that uh, when Sambalat, Tobiah, the Arabs, the Ammonites, and the Ashdodites heard that the repair of the walls of Jerusalem went on and that the breaches began to be closed, that they were very angry. All of them conspired together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause a disturbance in it. Uh, they didn't like that this wall was being constructed. And... It wasn't just that they ridiculed them. They definitely did that at the beginning of the chapter, but now it's getting serious. They actually want to fight against the people in Jerusalem. And so there is this risk of a battle taking place. Um, there could be an exchange of, uh, of uh, fighting and things like that. Well, Nehemiah responds to this and he prepares the people for a possible attack by these these folks. And in verse 17, it says, those who were rebuilding the wall and those who carried burdens took their load with one hand doing the work and the other holding a weapon. As for the builders, each wore his sword girded at his side as he built while the trumpeters stood, uh, stood near me. So the people who were carrying burdens and things, they had uh, one hand carrying the load and another one carrying a sword. And the people who were actually doing the construction part, they had a sword girded on. And then there was a, there was a trumpeter right by Nehemiah so that he could blast the trumpet in case, uh, the enemies came so everyone could rally and, and fight against them. And so it was getting very serious and very intense there in Jerusalem as they're trying to rebuild this wall. As we think about our own work for the Lord, and we talked about this yesterday, uh, about the fact that each of us have our little section to work on. Uh, we think about all the work that has to be done, uh, all the good that the church can do here in this earth, the influence that we can have, the impact that we can make. If just each of us would do our part in exercising our gifts, our abilities, uh, working within the sphere of influence that God has given us. Uh, we go to work and we and we labor for the kingdom. And oftentimes when we go about doing that, we think we're just embarking on some type of activity or, or some type of uh, ministry that God has put on our heart. And the next thing that we know, we're engaged in battle, in warfare. And where we're just working to try to build up the body of Christ or to expand the kingdom of heaven on earth, where we think we're at a construction site, we're actually in a battlefield. And before we know it, opposition comes, difficulties, uh, trials, things of those sorts. They just start coming one by one by one. And next thing we know, we're being challenged and it's becoming very difficult. And so we find out what they find out, they found out in the book of Nehemiah that you know what? I got to be about the work. On the one hand, I've got to be doing uh, the work of the Lord, service of the Lord. But on the other hand, I've got to have a sword. I've got to have the word of God nearby. I've got to be prepared for spiritual warfare. I got to be prepared for opposition because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood as Ephesians chapter six teaches us, but we wrestle against the, the dark forces in the heavenly places. There are spiritual forces that work against us and if we're not prepared for it we'll become disheartened or we might become overwhelmed and we might just walk away from the work but if we can learn what they learned that is to be able to work on the one hand but also to be able to engage in the warfare on the other hand and to be prepared for that and to actually expect it then we'd be in a better place to be able to continue on doing the work of the lord despite the opposition, despite the trials, despite the difficulties, uh, because we've come to expect it and we've come to prepare for it. So these are some things to think about as we're doing our reading today. 
I do thank you guys for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.